Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sim Airport, where we pretend to be an airport manager. We have just expanded our security area to the first floor, and we had some issues with secured and non-secured and such and such, some small problems, which we have managed to fix. And voila, this is what we have. We have a ticketing zone, and we have two staircases, which lead up over here to our massive, grand, huge, big, really cool looking security area where we've got two security officers who are overseeing 10 of these conveyor belts, which is going to check the bags, like the handbags, the hand, hand carry luggage thingies. So that's fine. I think this is pretty good and we can keep this going. I'm getting two doors here because I want to and I am going to get a wall here as well in between these two doors again because I want to. So things are going fine. Uh, this seems like it's a little cramped for space and this seems like this is too much space but all that's fine. Things are working well. That's all that matters. So I am going to get some windows all around this baby all around it just to make it look really nice and then continue with our theme of having a windowed area that people can see through so yeah i am pumped for this i am excited for this look at them look at them all go there's so much capacity it's just good so i am a little annoyed that people are going this way i don't want them to go this way so we do have one ways here, I think. So one way path, so we can actually do the one way path things over here. Can we not requires researching one way paths? Have we not researched it yet? There you go. So once we research it, I'm going to tell them that they can only turn left here. They can only turn right here. I mean, I don't have to tell these people anything. I'm going to tell these people you can only turn left here, which means as soon as they come up here, they're going to go this way. Uh, this is, yeah, it's a pseudo solution for the entire, you know, uh, cordon kind of thing. Because if we had fences and cordoning, then I would basically cordon this path off. But we don't have that, do we? So we have to make do with some of this that we have. So the angel investor is still not complete. We don't know how many more days there are to get it completed. It's not like this percentage gets updated based on how many more days there are. So yeah, it makes it a little difficult for us to understand, but that's okay. That should not take away from anything. 32.6 hours until then, I guess I will have to, I will have to look at this cluster mess which is over here but that's fine so we have a huge piece of empty space here we have a huge piece of empty space here and we have to think about what we need to assign these empty spaces for which we could just not right now uh, in the meantime i want to go up here and i want to see if i can assign this first row to be for first class. And the rest of it can be for coach. Right? One line should be enough for first class, right? Yeah, it should be fine. Let's see how it works. First class gets delayed. Maybe we'll have another line for first class. I don't think that is going to be much of a problem. I mean, first class is first class. They are not going to have to crowd so much.
So let's see, this guy comes here, he goes to this side and then he uses this. So they don't use this. Do they? So they're actually trying to use it on the other side. Oh, that's something we've already done. So I'm not going to worry about that or bother about that too much. Uh, I think this is fine as it stands. So yeah, things are going pretty well for security at least. Uh, 36 hours later, we will have to get Did we get the bonuses? That's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm not worried about it, but I'm interested to see if we got the bonuses. Where was that? My God, forgot it again. Perfect Ops bonus. We haven't, we haven't received the bonus for quite a few days now. We peaked at 60,000 and then since then we haven't received the bonus. I wonder why. Did we do everything yesterday? This is tomorrow. Do we do F oh no we didn't there's two people here there's one person here what is happening why are these flights getting so delayed like what is the problem there don't tell me we don't have enough ticketing offices that just can't be the case maybe that is the case maybe Hey, that crowd is very annoying. So I am probably going to turn this and I am probably going to get these kiosks over here on this wall. So we have how much? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I guess. So we should be able to get 10 here. Although it might be interesting to have them somewhere else, right? Like right beside this, give a couple of spaces and then we can have like a line of them. And then remove them from here. No, don't follow him, you idiot. Just dismantle these. I don't think this is necessarily a problem, but this is just going to clear up all of those people from there. So I can get a better understanding of where what issue is and where what's happening. So it's just to make things easier for me. It's not a solution for a problem which we have right now, I think. It's a lot of space here. We can really beautify this place. You get a couple of fountains and... Oh my, look at my storage here. Ugh. Doing this one by one. There you go. There you go. That's a lot of people. See the crowds just like it, it just seems more cleaner. Which is good. Because we can pinpoint exactly where our issues are. So since we finished this, let's go to yesterday and let's see if we cleared all the flights. Yeah, we seem to have cleared all the flights. So whatever issue it was, which was holding us back has not permeated to our change which is interesting which is good it 
seriously developers you guys need to have an easier way of selling this like you need to have some way where i can clear my inventory completely like i understand this whole idea of like you buy something and then you don't need to sell it you can just use it it's a good idea but then there are some games like i was playing this game called academia school tycoon and in that game you just can't put something in storage you know everything just sells off so it's kind of easier i don't have to worry about stuff like this there's, there's one thing called real world and how things match up to the real world but then there is the convenience right that is kind of like very important especially when you're playing a game i don't want to be bogged down with all this cumbersome click on each and everything and sell it cuz we're not playing candy crush right we're not playing a click and no what's it called it's called a what's it called it's called a click and drag game it's called something so we're not playing those kind of games these are like simulation games the beauty of this game is the flow oh my god the flow is so beautiful just look at the satisfaction like two episodes or three episodes back we had that issue with the uh, queue and you know we kind of like just fixed it so that anybody could go to any queue and we removed the whole first class thing like we said everybody is equal we made a communist and that gave us satisfaction right and then now to see this to see how things are right now it gives you again a, a little bit of satisfaction some sort of satisfaction it's like oh yeah i fixed this i made this so things are happening faster so that's that's what we're going for in this game we're going for the satisfaction part of things we don't actually care about real world matching cuz come on come on seriously so we're just waiting for the next 5 hours to go by so i guess that would mean by 8 o'clock no it's 3 hours so by 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock we should have our one way paths which should make things a lot more easier for us so our balance has jumped up drastically i can see that very clearly uh we did not get anything for day 101 i don't understand why but it has definitely improved uh we have 5 million here i am wondering if our grant got complete no that's not it that is so not it the grant is not completed yet look at that beauty 0 to 0.5% are you serious 0% you're going to give me a loan in 0% that's amazing i wish real world banks were like that moving on let's see what else we can get we could get ourselves probably a sushi bar or some such thing but more than anything i think we have to get ourselves some restrooms so we could get ourselves two massive restrooms over here so that people can relieve themselves much better and we could get ourselves two massive restrooms over here we have tiny little teeny tiny restrooms here but i mean seriously these are not going to cut it at all look at these restrooms they're so busy there's just three stalls here and there's two stalls and two urinals that's all this is like this is like a restroom you'd find in probably a bar in thailand somewhere you know it's not like a proper restroom restroom it's just like one of those oh you guys need to pee just go there behind the bushes kind of place so we need to get proper restrooms in place but so far so good so far i'm liking everything and i don't want to dive into the restrooms right now i don't know if i'm going to remember it by the time i come to the next season i'm going to i mean by, by the time i come to the next episode i'm going to try and make note of it so that i remember it uh but yeah 
I I am definitely not going to do it this episode. I am just going to wait and see what happens. Why we did not get our bonus? Why didn't we get a bonus though yesterday? We should have. Not here. Once again, it's in perfect tops bonus. Day hundred and two. We haven't gotten a bonus again. But everything left on time. No. Oh. Oh. What is the issue? Should I maybe expand ticketing? The problem with expanding ticketing is we will need. Actually, we have a bunch more feeders here, so we could try to do that. What we could do is we could have a bunch of ticketing stations over here, and we could have a feeder here. Yeah, so we could have. A feeder coming down here, which feeds into this hub. That should be okay. But again, I don't think that our problem is the ticketing. It could be, just that I don't think it. One of the airports I really liked was the Auckland Airport. It's a really small airport. It's not a huge airport. Things are just laid out so well, and things are so friendly. Everything is so approachable. Like when you walk into um, Terminal Three in Dubai, things are so unfriendly. It looks so immaculately clean, but things are so so unfriendly. You have smiling people, and you know you have like. These holographic images of uh, of all these pleasant-looking creatures who tell you where to go, what to do, and everything, but it's still like everything is regimented. As soon as you walk in, you're like, oh yeah, you know, this is like this is not a friendly place. I understand because the scale of Terminal Three Emirates is completely different from the scale of Auckland. It's probably just a fraction, a percentage of the total number of flights. That you see in uh, uh, in Emirates, probably not even that because Emirates is like the largest layover. Uh, it was at least at one point of time the busiest layover center in the world because Emirates was giving so many good deals on their uh, you know on their tickets because that's that's how they were trying to boost their entire tourism and all of that. So uh, that was one side of things, but. I don't know. It's like at some point, with some amount of scale, you just lose it. You lose your ability to be friendly, which is kind of very interesting. How does our exit and pickups look? They are extremely busy. So we can get one more platform, I guess, over here. Might make things easier. Let's do that because we have cash, enough cash. We have enough cash. We're spending sixty-one thousand on staff. Oh my God, we have a lot of staff. Uh, retail is earning a healthy profit, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. That's good. Transportation is not because we have all of these other extra things just to help capacity. So that is definitely not. Runway fees are good. Terminal fees are good. I'm not going to change any of that. Fuel is okay. It's doing well. It's doing fine. Uh, credit report is shining. It's shimmering. We're at hundred percent of everything. Debt to income hundred percent. Credit inquiries are everything is hundred. That's this is beautiful. This is simply beautiful. We have no outstanding loans. That's amazing. We just need to finish the investments government grants, which has still not happened, and I'm still waiting to see if we are going to make a profit on this or not. 
Right. Thinking about the future, we need to expand our baggage area to something much better, which brings me to the point of exits. I am thinking that we will have a baggage area over here, a baggage claim over here, which will lead out to this and then pickups will be here still. Uh, I can probably make pickups bigger by taking all of this off of the airport. In fact, we can take all of this off of the airport. All of this doesn't need to be here. So we can like close this area off and have this as another area where all the incoming passengers are able to sit down, lounge around and enjoy. And taking from here, all of this could be our baggage area which leads out to the parking lot and then you can go to the pickups area. It's possible. It's a possibility. Something we could think about. So if that is the case, then we won't have people crisscrossing because people will leave this and then we can have a door here from which they come to the baggage area direct or from here again. They can come here and there could be a door here so they can take that and they can go to the baggage area. So we could have either of those, which is good. It'll clean up the flow as well. It'll really clean up the flow. And we'll get... So these... I can't build any more gates here, can I? To do that, I'll need to unlock this. All good problems to have. And ticketing is definitely going to expand down here or up here. But I think we are kind of reaching some sort of scale. So we might have to rethink how to do this airport if we are going to expand it in the future. Like we have two runways, that's fine and all. But just thinking about it, we might need to do that. So did we get the ops bonus? No, we did not. Again. Flights delayed is zero. Oh, two flights got delayed. So the flights are getting delayed. So this is where I can see what issue there is. It was scheduled at 7.40, actual was 7.18. Departure was at 9.40, actual departure was at 10.17. Why did you get delayed? 12 people missed their flights, okay. Uh, flights delayed was six. Six flights got delayed. Okay, flights are getting delayed. That is not such a good thing. Is it because of... Could it be because our runways are not the same? Maybe we have a runway which is... not so good. I guess we have to make do with this for now. Airport value is fine, profit and loss is decent, credit score is very good. And yes, this is all fine and dandy. So on that note, I want to put a quick cut in this video. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe if you like the content which I'm putting outside. Do comment if you feel like you want to share anything with us. And until next time, take care now. Bye-bye then.